No, that was the the speaker uh, that we just spoke to, and the speaker has a dead ghost in his room. Why? I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But there's a, there's a dead ghost in his room uh, for you to go and uh, collect the next time that you go to uh, see him. He also sells uh, hunter cloaks, titan marks, and the uh, little bracelet things for the warlocks. Uh, I forget what they're referred to as. I, I do apologize. Out of all the classes, I will admit, There's warlocks are, are definitely we were lucky to keep a good and find class to play a guardian can't do much to for a solo city, run one. or PvP. But it needs a warp drive if we uh, ever hope to fight Hunters are very balanced class and that class cosmodrome is the PvP only place I know where we might still find one. Great support classes. We survived very the much fallen DPS ones. Type of role, we can do it damage again. Per second. Uh, Titans are going to be your tanks or your healers because they do have an ability on their second tech tree to uh, heal fallen comrades almost instantly, or those that are about to fall, uh, and it's very, very helpful. So the guardian like ship was recently shot character. down here. If the fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. Nope, not here. Ship's avionics are completely catatonic, but I can call their last transmission. Now this ship, that is uh, all smashed to bits right here, you can actually unlock this ship as a purchasable ship in the uh, store. Uh, it's one of the third or fourth one you can buy. Um, I don't particularly care for the way it looks, but a couple of my friends really like it, and they like to use it, so... Uh, the ship that's on my main character, I believe, on my hunter, or perhaps it's on my titan now. I don't particularly care for the way it looks, but it was the most expensive ship I could buy, and I did it just to see if anybody would send me a try-hard message. Um, unfortunately, like I said, uh, it's, it, uh, ships at this point in time are purely cosmetic, um, which is ironic, because for a purely cosmetic item, it's got a cloaking device, so depending upon what planet you're over top of, it changes the color of the paint on the ship, which I thought was really cool. Oh, yep, here's another chest. I thought it was really cool, but, um, I didn't, I didn't quite understand the point of it. Like, I really didn't. 26, 31. Uh, we'll delete delete that one. Got a decent amount of glimmer out of that. 13, 18. We'll delete that one. Uh, 22, 23. 12 and 15. So. Our warlock's already starting to look very, very destiny, titanish, warlockish. Titanish? Tit why, why did I say Titanish? We are not on Titan. This is not Attack on Titan. Yeah, uh, when you play on hard, there's guys in here. And I'm not 100% sure why, but there's guys in here. So, you know, there's that. Uh, there's still a guy in here. But uh, I'll kill him in a minute. Oh, that's interesting. I have my motion tracker says he's forward through the wall. Must be tracking the guys in there. It's a our only hope little concerning, our ship. but uh, we have to go back. I guess there's not a whole lot I can do about that.
Now I'm interested in are these guys the fallen or any of the other guys? Are they ever going to start learning, uh, presumably English, uh, because uh, we're in America, and I'm assuming that American copies and British copies that they're 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 all speaking English. Um, I'm wondering if they're ever going to start speaking English the same way that the elites in Halo slowly began to learn English throughout Scanning the series. For the I think that would be a rather interesting way of doing Bad things. News. But apparently, there will be a Halo ring. It's either being deconstructed or constructed somewhere in the background of a cutscene later on in the game. It's been rumored. Um, I think that'd be really awesome, actually, to, to flagship and, and plug in for your other game. Um, very well done. Very, very interesting Easter egg, Bungie. As you can see, I kind of struggled to clear that room out. It's in the walls. So I'm really not looking forward to how long this boss fight's gonna take. But the XP from it should be nice and worthwhile. just killed an Archon, mm -hmm. and we got a warp drive. This could yeah. cripple the Fallen. Victory we need to go dance. see the speaker. Okay, that's enough of that. Still not a high enough level for that. Well, like I said, I don't like the hand cannons. Um, that's all we got so far. And I'll go ahead and cut the cutscene uh, for the second time, because you guys don't want to watch this second time. We got time for another, yeah. Well, I think when we come back next time, guys, we're gonna do one of these two. Well, we're probably gonna get both of them done in the same recording session, but I think for right now, uh, we're just going to go ahead and head back to the tower and start to wrap this episode up. Um, we'll do a little bit of exploring, and I'll show you guys some areas of the tower that not a lot of people seem to know exists, as well as um, where a couple of ghosts are that you might not have found yet. Uh, or at least I'll try to remember where those ghosts are.
to good use, Guardian. There is a room, well, there's two rooms back here that people don't seem to know exists, and I'm not 100% sure what one of them is for. Um, they don't really seem to serve much of a purpose. Um, that's an interesting looking one. I think I had one of those in uh, the beta. Uh, it wasn't purple though, it was something else. Okay, so there's this guy over here, and then um, down here there's like a workshop area. And I'm not really 100% sure what this is for unless this is going to get used in some future DLC uh, or expansion stuff, but uh, there's this nice area down here and I'm not 100% sure what it's for. Um, and I've really had anything that's yet to bring me down here for any particular reason. Um, as well as once you come up here, uh, I mean it's all fine and dandy that this guy is up here, but um, it appears to serve no purpose outside of being like a VIP lounge, really. Oh, here's a true um, I mean it's a great view, you know. I wouldn't mind hanging out here if this place was real. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so there's all that, um, and then obviously ship vendor up there as well as the speeder vendor is the same vendor. There's the vanguard vendor, vendor, not bender. Uh, and then we'll come over this way. And I will skip the main tower for now. Uh, and we'll come straight across here. Now, uh, you can get up on top of the post office one of two ways. You can jump from up there, or you can do a run jump off the stairs and get up there that way. Uh, there is a ghost on the floor, I believe, or it's on top of this thing. It's, it's like right here next to the light, uh, I believe. And then, uh, so yeah, you can normally activate the fan, which will boost somebody into the air. Uh, you probably saw me in Christmas and around with that if you've been watching the Titan series. Uh, then we'll loop right around here. And, and again, there, there are things you can get on top of that uh, you would think you wouldn't be able to get on top of, like up here. Um, so it's, it's kind of fun to mess around with people uh, when you get up there. So we're going to come over here and you can buy paint or tents. Guardian. for your character you from this person you and uh hand. you can also buy some marks and emblems they're very expensive i mean like really expensive and they're just purely cosmetics new uh this is the new maranaki vendor and then there's this like door over here that looks very oddly suspicious like a guild house kind of thing um from like dot hack or something Welcome so and then in here is where the speaker is and uh, his ghost is like right here um, and he sells some things in exchange for uh, I believe it's yeah motes of light which on my main character I think I've got four motes of life which you get from um, harder boss fights and things like that or you can get as a quest reward um, yeah this, they're really hard to come by like extremely harder than what you would expect them to be and I think in the beta I had like six and I wasn't even level 10 yet um, so obviously they made them much harder to find or I was just looking in the right place during the beta um, and then here's where your quest aka bounty dealer is at um, and you have to be level 4 but they're, they're usually pretty easy bounties um, and your weapons dealer's back over there. 
And then in here is all your class trainers, Double as monarchy. well as the Crucible. Uh, so, yeah. That's uh, all of this stuff over here. Um, I really hope that the this video series is going to be very informative for some of you. Um, I'm sure for others it's going to be a bit of a review. Uh, and I really hope that you've enjoyed this um, solo experience so far. I really enjoy playing this game, whether it's with my friends or whether it's soloing. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed watching me play this. So, um, if you would like to see more of me playing Destiny, uh, then let me know in the comments below, thumb up the video, share it around, like the video, comment below, I know I'm repeating myself, but, um, you know, your feedback is, uh, greatly, greatly appreciated, everyone, uh, and I do appreciate you watching the series. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself so far, and have a pleasant day, guys. Bye-bye.